Hi there, welcome to my channel Banana World. Monique unleashed a barrage of heated words during her interview with Shannon Sharp, revealing the backstory of their fallout. However, the drama is far from over as Monique has now retaliated against DL on IG Live, insinuating that there's a whole backstory to why he became furious and decided to come after her on the show. Meanwhile, Fans are pointing out that DL has shown his true colors by swiftly resorting to fat jokes against Monique and having the audacity to suggest that Monique needs to pay someone to love her, all while his own wife is going through difficulties. For those who missed the show, let me catch you up. There's a reason why Monique has been making headlines with her guest appearance on Club Shay. As expected, Monique pulled out all the stops taking name at prominent figures like Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, Tiffany Haddish, and even Opera. However, Monique pointed out that DL failed to mention another name from the same clique of prominent figures DL Hewley. This isn't the first time Monique and DL have clashed. Back in 2022, they kicked off a feud over some contract drama with Monique spilling the tea on how the whole situation escalated after she brought DL daughter into the mix. To provide some context, the whole feud between these two started back in May 2022, and let me tell you, it was quite a scene. Monique didn't hold back during a stand-up gig and aired their dirty laundry over a contract mess. This showdown unfolded because they were quarreling over who had the legal claim as the headliner in a live comedy showdown in Detroit. According to Monique, she had the paperwork to prove she was the headliner. Dio, on the other hand, reportedly had a tantrum and refused to perform if Monique was the headliner. Dio denied these allegations and claimed his name was written on the tickets over Monique's name. So when Monique later took the stage during her comedy set, she poked fun at DL and his wife, stating something along the lines of not understanding how DL wife could put up with a quitter. But then, the feud took an even uglier turn when Monique brought up an old interview where DL allegedly refused to fully acknowledge that one of his daughters was sired by his friend. Monique compared this to her own past trauma and how, as a woman of color, she was not believed when she spoke about her trauma. She shared a clip from DL's interview on her IG and wrote in the caption, When I said how could DL's wife suck the D of a quitter, this is what I meant. When my husband and I say we need to fight for the girls coming up behind us, and you see DL didn't believe his own daughter over a friend because he apparently loves his friend more than he loves his own daughter, and didn't want to be bothered by the inconvenient truth. This highlights why women of color are not believed when they publicly speak about their trauma. What does the woman of color and his DL black wife have coming? Watch who stands with this man and you're looking at the same ones who will sit down when you, our sisters, are being preyed upon. I find it funny that DL will call out Ice Cube. Kanye West, Riza Islam, Angela Stanton, myself, and so on. But he won't call out the name of the person that dismissed his daughter. This happens for people who say I just need to let things go. But DL's daughter, Ryan Nicole, then joined the conversation and criticized Monique for involving her family in the discussion. Ryan Nicole replied in the comment section of Monique's post, saying, Using my mom and my sister to show people my father's character just shows how little sanity, dignity, morality, and respect you have for yourself and others of color. You're obviously too crayon shy of the full box. You're nauseating, and you absolutely need to keep every single member of my family's name out of your toxic mouth. DL's daughter also offered Monique a chance to have a private conversation and added, You can continue living in that scorched earth realm of yours. Get some help, mom, for real. And to have this conversation in person, I'll happily give you my address. That's when Monique replied, saying she'd gladly take up Ryan Nicole on that offer. She said, Hey, young sister, thank you for the invitation for a conversation. 
We would like to take you up on it, as it could be very healing for our community. Own DL set up an opportunity for you, your family, and my husband and I to come on his show, and we'll go from there. However, that face-to-face -face meeting never happened. And in the meantime, DL and Monique continued to throw jabs at each other. So, when Monique sat down with Shannon Sharp last week, he had to ask her about the drama with DL. Monique claimed that she would never have brought up DL's family if he hadn't done it first. According to Monique, DL set her up when he invited her to his podcast, where his team asked her to play the Would You Rather game, which included several nasty questions about her husband. They said, Monique, we want to play a game of Would You Rather. Let's go. Would you rather your husband sleep with Lee Daniels, with a condom, or Karen Stephans without one? Really, Monique? Now, as you all are watching right now, who haven't heard this story? You all going. They doing the same thing in the studio. They going, I okay. That's exactly accurate thing happened. Now, I shared with the team. How does that uplift our community? I said, sister, and she is Jasmine. How is it that you could ask another sister that? But we just planned. I said, make me the joke in that because I don't know what you're implying. Then, you're influencing people that have nothing to do with it. Unlike, what are you all doing? So I said, I'm a call my brother. Since DL didn't make an appearance in the studio that day, Monique decided to call him and ask about his team, asking those crazy questions. However, DL dismissed her and said, that's how we do it. DL, I'm going to call my brother. I called DL Hewley on the phone. I said, hey, babe. He said, yeah? That's how he answers. Yeah, he did. Did he know it was you? Yes, he did. Since they called him to tell him Monique will call like this, it was getting crazy, right? I'm like, just let me get on the phone with my brother, right? Hey, DL, I said. Listen, I just got off the phone with your team, and they wanted to play this game, would you rather? And it was dumb, like asking about my husband and Daniels and Ken Steffens. And his exact words were, well, that's how we do it. I said, DL, how does that uplift our community? And again, I don't know what you're trying to imply, but brother, what are you doing? Monique also revealed that this segment of DL's podcast never aired because she had her lawyer send him a cease and desist order. According to Monique, that's when she realized DL is also part of that group of guardians that Cat Williams talked about on Club Shay. It got so bad that my attorney had to send a cease and desist order, so it never aired. So we have, like, when Cat Williams talks and people truth-tellers talk, we have receipts to all that we're saying. That's how that whole thing started, okay? It's family. My husband is my family. Now, you babies that are good with this web during that time. I've watched DL tear me down during that time. I never knew me. I never knew DL Hewley really cared about me. But when Cass says they each a group, he failed to put DL Hewley in the group. Monique claimed that DL continued to drag her and her husband's name through the mud for far too long. And it all ended when they were both scheduled to perform in Detroit. Monique claims she was the headliner, but DL released a flyer that said he would headline. According to Monique, when DL released that flyer, he never understood the difference between a flyer and a contract. But I knew. We have a show in Detroit. Legally, I was the headliner. D.L. Hewley posted a flyer. Now, when you signed your deal for the Ravens, did you sign a contract or a flyer? I signed a contract. You see how you say that, like anyone that knows good business? You signed the flyer, and I was saying, this is what I would like, right? But the contract is saying, this is what it is. Okay. He put out a flyer to our community. And that touched me a little different, because I was saying, how could you lie to our babies? Since now they're thinking, if they send someone a flyer, they should get it. 
Monique said DL arrived late to the show, so she decided to take a few punches at him on stage. And that's when she made that joke about DL's wife, starting with a coward. However, according to Monique, that wasn't an insult to DL's wife. It was aimed at DL. As for that post about DL's daughter, Monique claimed she simply used that as evidence of DL being a coward, and she stated some things on that stage that she said he was a coward. Some people said, how is it that you could say that? How is it that you could do that? And then I posted some things on it. I said, this is what I meant. See, you came after my husband, and whenever you had a chance to fix it, whenever you got a chance to say, Mo, my bad, you know we don't get down like that. You let me, at least deal waste no time responding to Monique. When Club Shay uploaded her interview, DL fired back on Instagram, calling Monique a liar and hurling a slew of derogatory remarks about her weight. Well, Club Shay is getting more messy and messy. It's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. So Monique was on there every week. I see Monique these days. She's on there doing some greasy video with her and her daddy, complaining about something or working out. I don't know. Now, as this saga unfolds, it's evident that the feud between Monique and D.L. Hewley runs deep, with both sides exchanging verbal blows and accusations. Let's delve further into the intricacies of their ongoing conflict and the events that have fueled their animosity. Monique's appearance on Club Shay garnered significant attention, especially with her candid revelations about her feud with D.L. Hewley. The podcast episode became a platform for Monique to address the issues head-on and shed light on her perspective. However, D.L.'s response on Instagram indicated that tensions between them are far from resolved. D.L.'s choice to publicly address Monique's statements underscores the intensity of their dispute and the extent to which it has escalated. His derogatory remarks about Monique's weight not only reflect a personal attack, but also demonstrate a lack of restraint in engaging with sensitive topics. Furthermore, D.L.'s remarks may have exacerbated the conflict by fueling additional speculation and drawing more attention to their feud. In the midst of this public exchange, it's essential to consider the broader implications of their feud, particularly within the entertainment industry. Both Monique and D.L. are influential figures with significant followings, and their feud has undoubtedly captured the attention of their respective fan bases. However, the manner in which they choose to address their differences can have far-reaching consequences, potentially influencing perceptions of professionalism and conduct within the industry. Moreover, the nature of their feud raises important questions about accountability and responsibility, particularly concerning the impact of their words and actions on their audiences. As public figures, Monique and DL wield considerable influence, and their conduct in handling conflicts sets a precedent for how similar disputes may be approached in the future. In light of the ongoing tensions between Monique and DL, it's evident that their feud is rooted in deeply entrenched issues that extend beyond mere disagreements. While the specific details of their conflict may vary, the underlying dynamics highlight broader issues related to ego, pride, and the complexities of navigating interpersonal relationships particularly within the entertainment industry. Ultimately, the resolution of their feud remains uncertain, as both Monique and DL appear steadfast in their positions. However, as they continue to engage in public discourse surrounding their conflict, it's crucial for them to exercise restraint and consider the broader implications of their words and actions. By doing so, they can set a positive example for their audiences and contribute to a more constructive dialogue surrounding conflict resolution and professionalism within the entertainment industry. In conclusion, the ongoing feud between Monique and D.L. Hewley is emblematic of the complexities inherent in navigating interpersonal relationships, particularly within the entertainment industry. While their public exchange of words has undoubtedly captured attention, it's essential for both parties to approach their conflict with sensitivity and consideration for the broader implications of their actions. As influential figures, 
Monique and DL have a responsibility to set a positive example for their audiences and contribute to a constructive dialogue surrounding conflict resolution and professionalism within the industry.